Hello, my beautiful love goods, and welcome back to my channel. In today's build, I am building, I, it's kind of a house inspired a little bit by British townhouses, not quite. It's definitely my own spin on it. Uh, it's definitely not realistic whatsoever, but um, it gives me that vibe, so bear with me. Uh, this house is pretty normal on the exterior. It just, it's, it's a normal brick house. You know, nothing too out of the ordinary. It seems pretty simple and straightforward, um, pretty basic. But on the interior, I actually went with a pretty eclectic, kind of bohemian, jungly kind of aesthetic. And I am a huge fan of it. I really, really enjoy building this house. Um, it does contain some custom content, so I will leave all the links to the creators down below. And if I remember, I'll leave a link, not a link, but like a list of uh, Felix's sets. I'm pretty sure the only set that I used that was like majorly Felix's was his London set where he did like a set of really beautiful uh, ki kitchen counters that are stunning. <laughs> um, let me tell you, they're stunning and iconic. Um, but yeah, I used that in, in, res in respect, no, along with um, Harry and Felix Sanders CC, as well as a few pieces possibly from Illogical Sims, but uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, this house is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom house. Um, I was going to make it a three-bedroom, but I changed my mind in the end. And because uh, I was like, you know, initially I wanted this to be a family home, but I realized I got kind of tired of building family homes. I, I'm not really a big fan of doing kids' bedrooms, to be honest. I just, I don't know. I get kind of bored with them in The Sims. I think it's just not necessarily the lack of content. It's more just, I'm, I'm kind of bored of it. I don't know. Um, so I just made this a house for a couple of roommates and they were roommates. Um, but I just thought it'd be more, you know, more fun to do that. And, uh, the bedrooms definitely have a lot more personality than a kid's bedroom normally would. I mean, you could obviously make a kid's bedroom pretty, you know, pretty personable, but, um, if you're, if you don't have like specific sims for a house it's hard to make a room for them but with a bedroom for like an adult you can like ooh, this is a theme i can go with so yeah just you know I, I, unless you're using the tiny traveler set by harry and felixander then you definitely should be able to make a bedroom that's very themed but other than that uh, I just, I just, I don't know. I just didn't want to. <laughs> um, and yes, this, uh, like pavement on the exterior of the house is from Journey to Batu. I know. I love it so much. Um, and I used some debug plants from the new expansion pack, Snowy Escape. They're really, really pretty. And I think they fit pretty well with the theme of this house. It's like a little, um, a little hint at the uh, chaos that's inside, I guess. Maybe not necessarily, but um, it's nice. I really, really like the house in general anyway. Like just the shape and just, you know, the basic vibe I get from it. I, I really like this type of house anyway, but then the exterior, the interior you get in there and you're like, oh wow, this is a lot. So, um, but yeah, I'm building this on a 20 by 15 lot in Newcrest. I've actually been really wanting to just instead of like rebuilding houses on the same lots constantly, um, I've been really wanting to just like be like, okay, I finished that lot. I need to do another lot. So um, there might be some bigger builds coming to the channel. Uh, I definitely want to still do tiny homes, more smaller sized houses because those I really enjoy the most. But um, I definitely think that doing larger builds would be would be a bit more of a challenge and considering, you know, how, um, things are going with everything, uh, in the world right now. Um, you never know when, you never know when, uh, we're going to be, uh, locked down again. So, um, at least maybe then if that ever happens, which part of me kind of hopes it does just so that it could help things. But, if that does, I will definitely start uh, doing YouTube full time and uh, bringing more Let's Builds to the channel. Definitely. I've been wanting to do that anyway. I've actually posted about this on my community tab recently where I've been wanting to just 
do let's builds, make them a bit more casual and still have my speed builds be the main thing on my channel, but like have a few, like, like two or three let's build videos out a week or something like that. I don't know. I don't want to like overwhelm myself, but I don't think let's builds would overwhelm me because, um, I could just record for like 40 minutes and like, I would have a video done, but with a speed build, I have to record for like up to three hours sometimes, if not more. Um, and that's just for one video. So and that's not even including the voiceover and the editing, the taking the pretty screenshots, the editing of those, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, the Let's Builds, it's sounding more and more inviting lately just because it's just a little bit more chill and we can build together. So if you have any ideas for Let's Builds in the future, do let me know in the comments. Um, I could probably do some Let's Builds of larger builds where it takes me a, like a few, like a couple of parts, like three or four. But then I would also like to do some let's build where we just kind of do it all in one go like a tiny house for example we could definitely do in one go it might be a little bit of a long video if I do it all at once but I don't know I see that being a good thing too it's just it's whatever you all like I I definitely want to do it and uh, give it a try myself so um I definitely want to pull a uh, Devin Bumpkin if you will because can I just say Devin Bumpkin's recent let's build the world not recent he's been doing it for a bit but his Let's Build the Worlds, uh, like, series is so good. Like, his builds are fantastic, regardless of what he does. But just that format, I really enjoy. It's just casual. It's chill. It's hilarious, because, you know, Devin Bumpkin, he's really funny, and just, I love his personality. Uh, he's a, he's a, he's got a really good personality for a YouTuber. Like, like, you know, like, you know, people that just, they have that vibe that they're perfect for what they're doing. He's one of those. There's a lot of people that I know in the Sims community that are just, they're great at it. Like little Simsy, she's great at it. Like, I don't know if I'm necessarily good at it, but I, I like to think so. Um, but yeah, I wasn't really sure what style I wanted to go for with this house. I wanted to, I, I initially was going to make this pretty, like, basic not basic in that and that it would be boring i can't speak i'm so sorry i'm rambling um but i wanted to do like white walls and make the furniture kind of quirky and mismatched but still keep it kind of light and white um just because I thought, you know, maybe it was like a rental and they couldn't really paint the walls. So they kept it basic, but I threw that out the door really quickly. And I was like, no, <laughs> I want this to be a eclectic, like fantasy. Like I want it to be like, you walk in the door, you're like, oh, wow, this is a lot of plants. This is very green. This wallpaper is super busy, but I, I'm obsessed with it. I, I used a lot of CC, of course, um, to do this. Not a lot. It, it was a good amount of in-game content as well, but the wallpaper that I'm using here is from the Tiny Traveler set uh, by the amazing Harry and Felixander. Uh, they did a really good job with the set, and uh, I also used some uh, Journey to Batu uh, pavers in the kitchen. I kind of love this. It looks like hexagonal tiling to me, and I think it works so well. I really hope that someone takes these and adds like a bunch of colors to them. Like Peacemaker, Harry, somebody, I hope they do it. I'm not like putting pressure, but just saying if y'all did it, it'd be great. Um, I would be absolutely obsessed with it because I love hexagonal tiling. Uh, I've always really enjoyed it. And uh, especially in these kinds of builds where it's kind of rustic, but kind of eclectic, I think it suits really well. And I think that this works the way it is regardless without recolors or anything. So, and I also use some Journey to Batu lights. I know I couldn't help it. They're just, they just have a vibe that I really like. They're kind of industrial and they fit really well with this aesthetic. And uh, this kitchen set here that I'm using is uh, Felix's London collection. So um, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with that set. I love everything in it, the windows, everything, but the cabinets, they're delicious. They're stunning. They're iconic. They're just, they're everything. So definitely, uh, if you are, if you aren't like interested in downloading CC, I would say that the parenthood cabinets would actually suffice really well. Um, there is actually similar colors to 
you know what I did use um, and I'm pretty sure that you could easily just use the base game ones as well too but I love these so much they're so pretty and then the windows that I used above the um, above the sink they're actually from the snowy escape they're so nice those windows like at first when I saw them I was like oh these are pretty similar to Felix's I don't really, you know, I'm not like going to be super blown away by them. But when I actually started using them, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. These aren't just usable for like Japanese styled homes. These are actually functional for just normal houses. Like they're actually so pretty. And I see them working really, really well in like kind of witchy builds too. Like, you know, like practical magic witchy. Not not like, you know, um, Jezebel witchy, you know, like not like the he 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 witch. No, like more like the Sally Owens my my queen Sally Owens um my username on Twitter is Luca underscore Owens specifically because of practical magic I know that's a lot right um and I've even considered uh because I I've never told you all my last name I don't want people to know my last name I don't like my last name um but if I ever did change my last name I would change it to Owens um because I love that uh movie so much and uh yeah i've even considered okay this is going to be really <laughs> this is really not cringy but just it's a lot um i have actually considered changing my name to because i'm if you all don't know i haven't spoken about this much here on my channel let's be honest um but uh my my name on here on youtube is lukey it always will be i love lukey i love that name i've have had really good connections with it i guess um at least with um with youtube and everybody that i know on facebook like they they know me as lukey it's it's a it's a nice name i i consider it like i don't know i consider it part of my youtube brand so i i have a good feeling with it but ooh, really quickly um so i changed the colors of the cabinet bases or the counter bases and i made the ca the countertop match the cabinets on the walls i love it anyways um but I have a, I guess you could say a new name that I've actually had a lot of really good feelings towards for years, like literally since I was like in middle school, like I have been in love with this name. I've always wanted this name, but I never really admitted it. Um, but it's just Luca instead. <laughs> um, it's L-U-C-C-A specifically um, because there was a character in a, a Super Nintendo uh, JRPG called Chrono Trigger and the main character's like childhood friend that he like kind of grew up with, uh, her name is Luca. And I just always loved that name because she kind of gave me Velma vibes. I don't know. But anyways, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, um, I really liked the idea of uh, changing my name to Luca Owens Potter because um, it's it, yeah I'm obsessed and I have problems but that's fine I I, I embrace it but anyways back to the build um, the kitchen it's stunning and iconic as Juna Birch would say uh, I would hope I would hope she would say that about my build, but I love this little plant nook here just off the kitchen. Um, I wasn't sure what else to put here, so I just put like a chair. I thought, hey, maybe it's like a nice little reading nook. And um, the dining room is really, really pretty too. I didn't really talk about that, but I really love the dining room. And uh, that mirror, uh, that mirror I used against the wall, oh, that's one of Felix's when, uh, mirrors. I can't remember which set it's from. I'm so sorry, but it's beautiful. Um, and then here is the living room i made it kind of cozy and i i really like it actually i i thought i was even considering putting this in the thumbnail but um i really love that dining room and it just spoke to me a lot and um i actually changed the door here because i had an archway here initially but i changed that to a one of those sliding doors from the snowy escape pack it's oh my gosh it looks so pretty. I, I, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. I love Snowy Escape. I'm going to say it like as a builder, I think Snowy Escape is definitely, definitely a good pack to buy. Um, the world is really beautiful. The world objects like the live edit objects, they're stunning. The, you know, build objects are really nice. The buy objects are really nice. Like all in all, it's a really good pack. I definitely recommend it. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. Um, Gameplay, I don't necessarily have an opinion. I'm not a gameplay person. I've never really been a gameplay person for the past four and a half, five years since I started YouTube. Uh, I just, 
I was I just realized that the other day that in January 2021 it will be five years since I've started my YouTube channel. Isn't that insane? Like, can we can we talk about how crazy that is? Like, I'm 25, and five years ago, roughly, I started YouTube. That's madness. Like, I had started it when I was in the middle of community college, getting my associate's degree, and I was unemployed, I was broke, I had a few of the packs, and I not great laptop that uh, struggled with me throughout the years. Um, I will say though, that laptop lasted me, y'all. Like it's still working just fine. I mean, just fine, eh, relatively, it's it's okay. But it, yeah, I made all those videos. I like, think about it, 2019, it was February, no, it was April. April 2019 was when I got my actual like gaming desktop computer. But before that, all those videos were made on a laptop. Isn't that crazy? Like, you can make anything out of anything, but like, that laptop was so not intended for what I put it through. <laughs> like, it it could run The Sims 4 to build with, and it could I could play The Sims okay on medium settings. Like, it was just okay. Like, it didn't run the best. It was definitely not, definitely not 60 frames. And it definitely, um, chugged a little bit, but, um, I was able to record videos and edit them and export them and do all that on it. And I'm just like, wow, I would never go back. I would never 1000% go back. And I would not recommend it either. Like do what you can with what you got, but it's, it's definitely a struggle bus whenever you are using a laptop. That's literally, it was literally just like one of those like Dell Inspiron, laptops. I don't even know the model or anything. Um, it came with Windows 8. It was back then. Um, and yeah, it was, um, it was something y'all. <laughs> it was something like it, it did, a, it did its job though. Um, but yeah, I did an um, but yeah, again, Hey, here's a new thing. Every time I say, um, but yeah, in a build, uh, you have to take a drink of water, which is here is your daily reminder to drink water. Hello. Are you drinking water? Um, I need to get some more my bottle, like my water bottle is running low, but I've, I've been drinking it. So, um, I did have two cold brews today. Um, and I've been lethargic all day, which is not a good sign. I'm kind of, um, like concerned, but I did, I did take a good amount of melatonin last night too. So maybe that's it. You know, that probably isn't a good combination. If you all know, <laughs> let me know. Is that not a good thing to do where you take melatonin to sleep at night because you can't sleep most nights without it and then in order to keep, be like full of energy and pep you have coffee in the morning that's probably not good but anyways moving on to the bedrooms uh the first bedroom i think the first bedroom here is more like the main master bedroom and then the second bedroom that i did is more of like a guest room it's not fully furnished it's not like complete like this one is this one's like full of stuff it's so cozy but it's also kind of cluttered in a good way um it's got like a chair a nice armoire it's got you know a bookshelf a little dresser a tv it's got some plants i think i've got I, did i put a plant in here yes i did put some plants i had to put some plants but it's got the mismatched end tables for the bed. It's got that beautiful wallpaper. Now I do change this wallpaper. This is stunning already, but um, I actually find the wallpaper that I intended to use in this room later on and I changed it, but it's uh, one of those wallpapers by uh, Harry and Felix. An no, it's not Harry and Felix Sander. Is it? It might be. Yeah. I think it's possibly from the Tiny Twaveler set. I can't remember for sure, but it is one of those, I believe. It's really really beautiful wallpaper i'm obsessed with it but uh and then i also use some stuff from harry's heritage collection as well because she has two sets um where she did the first part i think was base game and the second was second one was cats and dogs where she did some recolors to go along with felix anders cc um but yeah it's really really nice if you're looking for just some recolors to add into your game definitely recommend checking out harry's heritage collections because they're just a nice like they're simple in that there's not really heavy patterns or anything and i love that about them because we don't really have enough of that in the game i don't think we have enough you know objects where it's just like a basic 
color like it's just a simple flat color nothing you know it's not super saturated either it's kind of subtle it feels more realistic it's just it's just right but and then here's the other bedroom and uh, I kind of made it more of a guest bedroom sort of I didn't really have much inspiration for this one I just kind of threw some stuff around and hoped that it looked good I did like it in the end I do think I like it the way it is here more to be honest maybe I don't I don't know did I even take screenshots of this yes I did um but yeah I was like looking through my editing and I'm like ooh, where is that screenshot oh no I didn't take screenshots oh no it's all a nightmare um I'm the type of person here's a little bit of behind the scenes like snippet but I'm the type of person that when I'm doing my speed builds I have to I start my recording then I take my screenshots. As soon as I'm done building the house, I take my screenshots, I upload it to the gallery, I record the little fly in part in the intro, and then I make sure I have the thumbnail screenshots taken. And then as soon as I'm done, I get my clips into my editing software rendering so that they can, you know, I can edit them properly. And then I make the thumbnail and the end card back to back. And then I jump into the actual video where I edit then I do voiceover, music, export, upload. Like I I have it has to be that specific like setup in that specific order or I feel chaotic. It's crazy. Like I hear some people on here. I'm not calling any shade out either. Everybody has their own process and whatever works for them works for them. But I've heard people being like, "Oh, you know, in their voiceovers for speed bills or whatever, I haven't taken screenshots yet." I'm like, how how like like what if what if the voiceover ends and then you don't know how long the sp screenshots are going to be and then you have all this extra voiceover and then it goes too far into the video yeah i think this is that's part of my um my uh chaoticism chaoticism chaotic cha chaoticness i don't know it's part of my chaos that i need it to be in order that is that weird? I don't know. But there I changed that wallpaper. I, I do believe it is from Tiny Travelers. It's so pretty. And I also put one in this upstairs bathroom. The upstairs bathroom, I kind of love. It's simple. It's small. It's straightforward. I love it. But yeah, and all I did for the remainder of the build was just add in some stuff for the backyard just to keep it, you know, keep it from being just like an empty backyard. I was even tempted to be like, eh, I just decided not to do that because <laughs> I'm not really the biggest fan of doing exteriors anymore. Like I love building and I love interior design and even building the house, but I don't like landscaping or figuring out where to put things on the outside because it's not really a room to me, but it is, but it's not. I still like how it looks though. I love it. I love this little back step with the chair and the vase and all the plants just sitting around and you know, the planter boxes and this little string light thingy. I like it. It's nice. But anyways, this house is available on the Sims 4 gallery. All you have to do is search for my username, Lukey Dean and the hashtag Lukey to find it. Uh, and yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird and beware of the Nargles. Mm -hmm.